Number one show of late night. You know what? Just give us our Emmy already, or I'll swear to God, I'll be in your house tonight. Because if you don't give us an Emmy, we're coming to the Emmys regardless. You know, you know what, I'm what saying? it is? Smell like the loud Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Tonight's guest is a three time, three times pro bowler with the Kansas City Chiefs. He speaks his motherfucking mind. He said what he said, and he's got a lot of swag, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely invited to the cookout, B. You gotta bring ice, though. You know what I'm saying? Travis Kelsey, come to the table, my yeah. man. Yeah! You know My guy. Okay. My guy. Ah, happy birthday, G. Yes, see? thank you, thank you. Every now and then you see someone come across the timeline, you're just like, damn, they're just gonna end up on the show. <laughs> hey, this is definitely, man. Well, this one of, you you wanted them right away. I was like, you gonna be on, you gonna know be on the show. what it was that you saw. Well, it was so much. I think it was, uh, uh, the jerk off motion. Ah, yes. dang. Yeah. Jerk -off I'm not motion. that proud of that motion. No, no, no. I was just rolling the dice. You just rolling yeah. the dice? Is that yeah. what it was? Yeah. was How much was the fine for that? <sighs> Seven G's. Oh, All that's right. light. As a NFL player. That was my player. first one, though. You know what I mean, they get worse as you go <laughs> as you up. Go, okay. Yeah. So yeah, as I regular people, mind, yeah, that as was, regular people, we watch this, and then I hear seven Gs for this fine, twenty-four for this. To you, is it just like a parking ticket, or do you feel it? Do you what? do it in the morning after you get that fine? You're like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, or? no, it's immediately like, God, ah, no, I don't want that to be over ten. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> please don't go over ten k. No, but it's um. I mean, some of them were worth it. Like, I feel like when I uh, when I got fined for speaking my mind at um, after the Steelers lost two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, wait, wait, what'd you say? Uh, I, for the, those that didn't see it, I told uh, I told the ref he shouldn't even be able to work at Foot Locker. Woo! Oh, laugh! Nah. Foot Locker was like, yes, please expect the stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout to Julio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. But um, yeah, no. Even that one, I think was uh, it was worth it. Mm. So. Yeah, man. What was your first welcome to the NFL moment? My first welcome to the NFL. You guys remember a guy named uh, Bernard Pollard? Mm -hmm. He was a safety about yeah. the size of me. Okay. Yeah. But he was like 10 times stronger. He mm -hmm. actually was in the weight room doing crazy stuff. But he uh, he came downhill on a slant route. I caught a slant route. Before I could even turn up field, he put his helmet right in my chest. Woo! It was my first game. Yeah. And I, I just remember getting up as fast as I can and like, Front and like, yeah. I didn't have a ball, and I was just like, oh man, uh, did I just fumble it? Was it a catch? <laughs> was it not a catch? You looking at what the just happened? Like... Ah. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. I wasn't oh, concussed, man. thank wasn't God. Because nah, I remember everything. I just It just happened so fast. Yeah. And I was like, wow, man, these dudes are real deal. We always ask football players, okay, you get hit on Sunday. When do you feel it? Do you feel it right away on Sunday, or do you feel it like Tuesday, Wednesday? Um, when is it really? I cheat. I take a, I take a Toradol, which mm -hmm. is like an anti-inflammatory before the game. Yeah. Through the team. I mean, this, yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. isn't illegal stuff. Yeah. I mean, if it was, I would, yeah, I would, right? I'm like, you out nah, here. No, nah, I'm doing it legally. <laughs> um, but no, it's, uh, it helps with the uh, with like the little stuff. So like the hits that I take, mm -hmm. um, like sometimes your, elbow, your arms will go and I got bad shoulders. Knees, the ankles, you might roll an ankle all of a sudden. You don't want that to like linger. Yeah, so, this kind of like masks some of it. So, like, even after the game, mon maybe Monday you'll yeah. start to feel some, but Tuesday you, you'll be like, man, that hit good. I took in the third quarter. Oh, oh fuck. Damn. <laughs> Just to reach for a cup, like, ah. ah yep. Exactly. What's the hardest hit you've taken? Um, I mean, I guess the hardest hit I've actually taken was the one I got knocked out in last uh, last playoff, mm -hmm. and it was a shot to the side of my head. But that's play, really dude. the only. I mean, a big hit's a big hit. I've been getting. I mean, it's football, so yeah. you you, yeah. you got to embrace those collisions if you're gonna play the game. Right. That's a fact. That's you fact. play tight end, but you move out there like you a wide receiver. Be that's not that's not. You got footwork out here. You got oh, yeah. juking motherfuckers and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Jumping over motherfuckers. I'm just like, bro. Like, what can this dude not do? Did you play different positions coming up? Like I was a quarterback my entire life till uh, my junior year of college, mm -hmm. and um, I had to make the switch because of some other things. But basically, the new a new coach came in, had kicked me off the team, told me if you want to get back on the team, mm -hmm. you compete, you can earn a scholarship playing a tight end. Right. We don't need a quarterback. Okay. So from there, from that point on, I was just trying to chase. That's like, the blocking. Oh yeah, I was. I, I I like. I personally. I that's what I embraced in it because I was always a quarterback that lowered my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I was a downhill runner, so I mean, I uh, I kind of like wanted to see. Heck, let me see if I can put my hands on somebody and toss them around. Right, because people always compare you to Gronk. It's like you know one 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 and one a, but I feel like you like he don't got the 
agility. Like he's just a big ass motherfucker. People compare you to Gronk. You're white. Is that? Is that? It? I think the white and the '87. Yeah. I think those two combined are why they compare us. I mean, we're. I, we're similar and like we like to enjoy our like our time here on earth like you can tell we you can flex ourselves. though you can, you can, this is the flex yeah, zone you can flex up like yo my man this little ball throwing shit is not fucking with all of this you know what i'm saying like <laughs> my man if you yo you if you start talking about you start doing a dancing. jerk you know what i'm saying how many of those dancers are playing and how many are improvised I mean, they oh, you all, just got you just got them. You're like anytime, baby. I got them. I'm on It's in my it's in my it's in my pocket? back pocket. Yeah. And I'm ready to shoot whenever. I mean, it's um off season. You and Odell, like yo 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 yo. Let's who's go. Better, Listen, who's better, you or Odell? Let's go right here. O Odell is gonna take that. Yeah. yeah. He's 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 really like a dancer. Yeah, that's true. Like he could really any song you throw on there, I think yeah. he could he could ride to. But I'm I'm just I'm more so like growing up like what what i experienced with my friends and in the culture that i grew up in mm -hmm. um so like i did the i did the rick flair yeah Woo! Ooh, you know what I mean? I did a yeah. Ric Flair. I hit the chicken head for everybody at the Heights. Hey, when I was hey, in the hey. So, um, What's then, your favorite what, of all the celebrations? What was your favorite one that you've hit so far? Um, the Donkey Kong uh, Mario Smash Brothers. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, yeah. I, I started at about the 10 yard line. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your man out here. Oh, yeah. In the get him. Yeah. Get him. Ooh. Ooh. Right kill him. Ooh. Ah, kill him. Okay. <laughs> Everyone on Black Twitter was like, who is that? We are now rooting for him. <laughs> Me and my little brother, watch out. He's like, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch out. Ah. That big old pot of sauce. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, shit. hey. Get, get it, honey. <laughs> Anything. Free the home, free the home. You know what it is? Ah, ah, oh. ah, ah. Oh. Hey. Oh. Get him. Oh, the oh. Millie Rock is sturdy. Oh. Why, why is sturdy. It, why is the Millie Rock so sturdy? Where'd you grow up? Uh, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Cleveland Heights. Side. The Heights. Hey, that, the Heights. The Heights. Heights. The Heights. What was it like growing up in the Heights? Um. It was very multicultural, mm -hmm. so it was cool to see to really get that understanding of life at such a young age. And I understand, I understood that when I went to college, like I'm like, wow, these guys really come from like the the boonies. Like yeah, they don't yeah. know, they don't have they much like, like they, collab they, and like right, uh, everybody like really meshing together. And um, I think that was cool for me to understand because I played so many different sports. I met everybody in the community, really? which was uh, which was cool. And then on top of that, we have an international exchange program in the school. So you get all diff all these different like ways of life into one city, one school and uh, both high social class, low social class. So I mean, it's a uh, it's just it's it's a place that I hold dear to my heart, man. I love that city. Shout to the Heights, you know what I'm saying? The Heights. Also shout to Washington Heights where I would be all weekend smoking a wild hookah and getting fucked up. Maybe with Travis Kelsey. Shout out to the high. He's leaving tomorrow. <laughs> All right? I don't want to see him ruined. He's but, having a good career so far. But now I might be back. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> leave. Gotta leave. Oh, man. Yo, listen, man. As, as a Dominican, I have gotten several noise complaints. I read in an article that you used to have a crib, but then you had to move to a different crib because your neighbors was like... Stop banging on the damn furnace. Oh, man. Travis! Travis, what's going on? Travis! Why well, you turn up so late? Travis! <laughs> yeah, no, I had... Uh, the first thing I bought when I moved it, moved into my spot in KC was, like, speakers. Like, I had a... I, it was a huge... Kind of very similar to this. It's where a it was Jamaican a dream. Oof. Man, it just went... Just went buck wild at, like, a, a Best Buy. Just like, yeah. give me the biggest ones you got. Ooh. I need to have my place shaking. So <laughs> every weekend, it was just, like, a club after the club. And, um... I'm sure my girl doesn't want to hear this over there, but no, it was uh, it was crazy. <laughs> it was it was it was a fun time. She's like, how neighbor, crazy was it, motherfucker? What's going on? Let's see some details. How crazy? Let's see some details. How crazy? Y'all was playing uh, cards, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cards with strippers. <laughs> <laughs> you're too hot. You're too hot. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. You, what was the? You got 46 mil? Uh, yes, yes. yes. I'm very, what, okay. very blessed, man. Very blessed. What is, what is that feeling like when you, man. you just like log into your, like... your, your bank account and see it was there? Or... I, I got a call and they're like, yeah, this is what they offer. I'm like, yep, sign it right now. Send that paperwork right to me. <laughs> right now, fax it. I don't know where I'm at. I'm at a Hilton somewhere. Somewhere, uh, bro. Uh, Send a courier. I was, actually, I was actually in Hawaii. It was cool. It was my first Pro Bowl. Um, I came off of my third year in the league, my second year playing because I got injured my first year. And um, sure enough, went out there and... Did my thing. They, they hit me up in uh, in Hawaii. It was like, hey, you want to sign this thing? So mm -hmm. I was like, sure. Mm. Yeah. So I was, uh, right before, the day before I'm about to sign, news came out that I was going to do this dating show. Yes. Yeah. And the office did not like that. Mm -hmm. No, nah, they wouldn't fuck with that. <laughs> 
So it was uh, it was kind of like, all right, well, y'all still offered me? Y'all still, y'all still fucking with me? I don't know if this is really going to work out because I'm going to do the show. Oh, definitely. But it, it was all cool. I ended up having a, my best year after the after How, uh, What was the show like? Cause you know, it was on E, right? Yeah, it was on E. What was what was what was the bargaining system like right there? Were you like, yo, I'm Travis Kelsey, motherfucker. You have to bring that bag if you want me to be handing out roses every week. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. They 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 threw some they threw some cash out. Yeah. <laughs> but it was Yeah, I mean that was originally the reason why I did it. But on top of the fact that it was one girl from every state. Right. You got fifty women to choose from. You can, you might be able to find one yeah, out of that, that's right? Cool. That's cool. I mean, if that's what you want, or if you got your lady right there. Yes. I found that <laughs> shortly I'm after. I'm trying to help you, my brother. Please. I'm trying to help you right Please. now. I need all Do the you help have any right what was your most reckless? Purchase after you got that that bag. Oh man, it wasn't the speakers. You bought like no, it wasn't the speakers. Or... Actually, my my favorite purchase and yeah. still my favorite purchase from my original uh, getting drafted, the, my first contract was uh, the Marty McFlys. Oh yeah. Oh. I had always wanted a pair of Air Mags, and man, when I got them, I I was like, wearing them around the house for like. A month Just straight. rocking them like house shoes and shit. Yeah, like. Exactly. <laughs> Please, uh, exactly. you know, be sure to get my man's, uh, you know, yeah. casual off-white flexes. Well, yeah, it's a little sure. say, right? Why we in sight. the city, man? It's like work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, go slight work. Oh, so your brother just won a ring. Yeah. From the shout to Jason so, from the Eagles, Philly 205, you know, all the way live. Philly, How's that feel? Were, like you text them during were you watching the Super Bowl? Like, oh yeah, I was on? I was in the house. Was I was in, in Minnesota mm -hmm. watching him go to work and I'll tell you what, man, he he's had such a crazy journey. He actually was a walk-on at the University of Cincinnati where I went. And they told him to switch positions too, but he was a linebacker. They told him to move the offensive line. So it was like gain 60 pounds in the summer and you got a scholarship. Right. right. So he was just housing pizzas and, and beer yeah, for White like, Castle and oh, shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, yo, let me get two every crave night. cases. Juicy Lucy's. Every night, yeah. every yeah. night, <laughs> just getting hammered. You know, it was literally, he had a keg on his waist. Everything else looked like a linebacker, and he just had this keg on his waist. Yeah. And they were like, all right, here's your scholarship. He was running down on kickoff. Like, he was a, <laughs> like he was a linebacker still at, at 280 pounds with knee braces on, man, it was hilarious. And just to mm. see him go from there to the top of the mountain, and win a Super Bowl, man. That, that shit was cool. Right. Does he does he flex on you? Does he just send uh, you the group chat picture with the ring? Like, this yo. This got a rollie with the, I don't know if you saw the dog, how they said they were yeah, the underdogs. They were the dog, they wore yeah. the mask, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he got, got the, the mask yeah. engraved in the in the rollie. Flex. Wow. Like, wow. I didn't, and the thing is, Jeff, my brother doesn't do it. He's like, a, he's like a caveman. Yeah. So for him to come out of nowhere and get a rollie with that kind of, like, I was just like, That's what? He was like, what? Who gave you this fucking idea? <laughs> it's the swag. It's the osmosis. Oh, you guys man. get it from you, bro. Might right. be. As a Clevelander, lifelong Clevelander, you know what I'm saying? How you feel about the playoffs? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I was actually at game one, and mm -hmm. it, it was ugly. It was ugly. It was real it was ugly. ugly. It was cool to experience, uh, I was I was right by the Celtics bench, so it was cool to experience like that atmosphere mm -hmm. in the TD Garden, but or TG Garden, I forget which one. TD Garden, it yeah, yeah, it's a fake, the fake garden, the real garden yeah, is here in New York. Ah, uh -huh, that's the garden. You know yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Stop playing games. <laughs> Fuck out of here, boy. How you feel about game two? Which which was your prediction? Brown was up at nine nine a.m. Brown was Brown not playing. Brown He's might kill playing, somebody. Bro. Brown might actually kill somebody on the court today. We have to let it go. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm I'm excited for it, man, and. Uh, I thought he killed Jason Terry when they played the fucking uh, that <laughs> Jay Celtics Terry, that year. Mm -mm. Jason Terry, he's how much you think they're so they pulling this off? <laughs> huh? You think the Cavs pulling this off? Yeah, no, for sure, man. Yeah. I, I got the all, utmost confidence in Bron and, and the guys over there, especially in the Eastern Conference. Without Kyrie, it just doesn't seem like it's. It's not scary no more, right? Yeah. Anybody? So anybody? even if Bron leaves after this year, like where, if he's gonna go to the West? What's yeah. what's gonna happen to the East Coast? What about uh, what about the rumors about uh, LeBron coming to uh, the Knicks? Yeah, like you know, you like. Heard that? Like, like. like. <laughs> uh, so, right, uh, I saw him say it. I mean, I'm just asking if y'all heard it. If thing. there's one city that I think he would go to, because I don't, like, like I just said, if he goes to the West, the Eastern Conference is, is a joke. Terrible. So, I think yeah. if he does go somewhere, it's either Philly or New York. Yeah. I can see him going Philly to New York. Philly got a good young team, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've, I've read yeah. that. And I He's just probably going to stay in Cleveland for real. Yeah, but yeah he can't come just... to New York. We'll boo him after three games. Like, we're terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he'll put up like 50, 10, 10 and 2. Porzingis? Like, Porzingis? We got Porzingis, but New York Knicks fans, we don't really be there for the basketball, we just be drunk and yelling at niggas. Like, <laughs> I respect yes. it. Yes. Mm. So you got Spike Lee put on yes, the map. Yo, yeah, we're not. That's, that's a fact, bro. Oh, man. So, final question. Uh, when do you come to the Giants? Oh, uh, man. Sheesh. That's going to be a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we got no time. 
got that. That could be the extended interview. Like, right. yeah, exactly. like, yo, okay. How much time you need? He's like, yo, how old is he like now? 58? Probably never. At what yeah, age did you realize this football thing is your life? This is what you're gonna do. When I actually, when I moved to a tight end, I um I always kind of thought myself uh, thought of myself as a basketball player. Mm -hmm. Or or plan B was always baseball. So I actually, Ooh. when I got I suspended. I could see you in either one of those, too. When I got suspended from uh, from college, it was like, all right, now what do I do? Well, I had this baseball thing running at the end of high school. Why don't I try and get back into that? And that showed some some potential, but it wasn't right. it wasn't like, hey, if you move to tight end, like you're, you, in. you're yeah. yeah. Right. It's like, a, I don't want to say it's a guarantee, but like that's what everybody was saying to me since I was in high school because of my size and mm -hmm. athletic build. And, just what I do when I have the ball in my hands. Right. So. Would you play uh, in baseball? What position you play? I was a utility guy. You can throw me anywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. I could, I could wing it. I could wing it about 95, 90, between 92, whoa. 93. Whoa. I just <laughs> he said 95, uh, 92. 95. Right. So his hypothetical. 95 is pretty aggressive. <laughs> hypothetical. The Yankees want to sign you. You got to shave your beard off. Nah. 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 <laughs> is life better with the beard yeah, or without man. the beard? It's with the beard. Yeah, yeah man. Dude, Listen, dude, you can kind of like shape it up. You can draw your own dude, yeah, ball. Yeah, you know? exactly. I'm a beard gang. You know what well, it is. This is a little gang. mini double chin like me. Yeah, I, I got to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Camouflage this right. Here you go. Exactly. Keep Cut you younger. Off. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. What do you want to do after you're done playing football? Because you, you could do anything right now. You could be on Grey's Anatomy. You could. <laughs> That's, that's a fact, bro. Hey, listen, I'm I'm advent I'm venturing into uh, into the acting world, the, the scripted comedy. That's the yeah. only one I can think of that I actually enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I'm venturing into that. But uh, for the most part, I I have no clue what I want to do. Just enjoying the ride. Yo, LeBron, help you. Yo, your man's Cleveland, hold me out. You know what I'm go. saying? LeBron and be acting. You got the entertainment <laughs> company going. Like, let's make All it right, happen. Help baby. me. Help you. Help us. You know what I'm saying? If you were NFL commissioner for a day, what's three things you would change? Three rules. Oh, man. Um, without getting in trouble. You know, without getting in trouble? That's a great question. Um, like, what's the deal with the celebrations? I would change. Yeah, the celebrations. Like, you can do that all day. Like, apparently, some celebrations are, like, prohibited. Some celebrations you get fined for. Like, mm -hmm. there's no... Do you have rules they tell you about that? Or it's just like, yeah, no, they tell us that you, it can't be anything, like, sexual. You, like, you can't... There can't be anything like... You can't that. be like, yo, double toppy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I'm, you know what? Not yo, for nothing. What, here's someone, a four. If yeah. someone celebrates with double toppy, I'm calling in. I'm calling. I'm like, yo, excuse me. Y'all hold business. for 20 minutes. My son saw that. Right. Like, so there's none of that, and then I think uh, there's nothing like violent. Yeah. So you can't use anything. You can be like, ha! Yeah, yeah okay. just come through and start. Or okay. like the bow and arrow. I used to do that after first downs, and they. You can't do a bow and arrow. You can't do a bow and arrow. arrow? Yeah. Who's gonna do a bow and arrow? 1920. <laughs> Robin Hood Men in Tights was one of my favorite movies growing up. Facts, bro. So like, Facts. I'm Dave Chappelle. I'm Dave Chappelle, that. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, what do Chief fans have to look forward to? What do you, what do you bring to the table next season? Oh, dubs, man. Dubs, Every, a whole dubs. bunch of dubs, for A whole bunch sure. of dubs? I'm, uh, I'm trying to just up the ante, man. Play, play well-rounded, both in the run game, pass game. Um, keep doing my thing when I get the ball and uh, make guys miss, but... A lot of dancing. A lot of dancing. Yeah, a lot of dancing. I, got, I got a lot of complaints that in the second half of the season there weren't there weren't enough celebrations. Mm. So that's just it fueled just me to get more. in the end zone. It's not fine money, bro. Just bring the fine money down, you can get, bring the dancing up. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. Have you played any of those weird London games yet? Yeah, I played in London two years ago or three years ago. How's that? The How's the, what's the London game? Is it worth the trouble flying over there? I'm not going to lie. The experience was awesome, but the, I mean, it was definitely a struggle yeah. playing in that game. The energy and just the, the whole, because we, we literally flew in on Saturday as if it was a regular game. Or, right. You know, we flew in Friday, got two nights rest, but it was, um, I think it was pointless because we couldn't embrace the city. Like, mm -hmm. we couldn't actually go around. Yeah, you were just city. like in a four block radius around the hotel. Yeah, kind of thing. and it's like, I don't want to hate on their style of living, but it's like I'm I'm six six trying to live in Europe. Like that's nah, I feel bad for everybody that's six six. Bro, everyone in England is like five Like five, the showers right? are like by yes. my like chest. Fam. Like all the hallways are like real thin and like old. It's, it was wild, bro. Yeah, yeah, which I would respect it if you if you embrace you love that living. Do you think right? the listen, NFL should have a because they they're, they're flirting with a London team? Do you think that's no. do you think? Flying? Oh no! You're not trying to fly nah, out there from more London games. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, I'd be okay if we didn't go back out to London ever again, man. Shout out to everybody in London. Shout out to London. Shout out to the, the, the fans. The fans were. I love the fans. It's just a travel time. It's, it's eight fans. hours, dog. Like, yeah. come on, man. It's Thirteen. 13. Oh, yeah. It's and then 13. practice and then get on. Nah, bro. All right. Good on that. You fuck with the culture. 
What is your favorite meal? We want to know now, because now, now I'm, I'm, I don't know meal. if you're about to say oxtails, Damn. some bacalao, I don't know. <laughs> some oxtails. Um, man. Cause we were talking about the Jamaican that restaurant. Was a, we were, day. and I'm not going to lie, everybody went in there to get free food, and I mean, I, I feel like it was it was free for a reason. Yeah. It was but, you know, I'm not going to hate on it, though. Uh, you you look at their hand food, bro. Every time they have, they run out. Right. You know what? I would get offended by that. I would get offended by that. I'm not going to name a certain Jamaican restaurant in Williamsburg that just hit us up and said, we don't have that. I was like, yo, y'all mean. Y'all are literally a meme. Y'all helping, y'all not helping our people right now, man. Travis, what would you like your rainbow to say? My rainbow? Oh, uh, man. Swirl the world, man. Swirl the world. Ah ah. Ah ah ah. Travis in the building, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Travis Kelsey. You see him dancing in the season, you know what it is. You see him dancing on your ass. Ah ah ah. Yeah, do one-handed grabs in the end zone. See Millie Rock right now. Ooh. 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 Hey. All over your whole squad. Travis in the building. That's right. Yeah. You're watching the DC Romero YouTube channel, stupid. Click to watch more videos and clips. Subscribe, please, please, please. Click and comment.